song, and the composers are with me now on good old Focus, New Jersey, and they are Erwin Levine, and welcome to Focus New Jersey, Erwin. Thank you. And Larry Brown, and I want to welcome you too, Larry. Thank you. I believe uh, you're going to do something for me. Well, I would like to start off by saying, I'm not a politician, can't affect the world's affairs. I hardly read the papers, I can't change what I see there. All i got to give you is a little bit of time. And if you leave here singing, well, ain't that the bottom line? <laughs> and if you want to hear the end of that song, you'll have to come see the show. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You're going to get some write-in votes now, so you may be elected. you have to ask for a recount. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to introduce you to, as the composers of uh, some of the nation's most uh, well-known popular songs, I'll name a couple of them. You can name some others if you want. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree, right? Yeah, we did you, that one. You, I mean, you claim that Guilty. one. Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Knock three times. Knock three times. Uh, Has anybody seen my sweet gypsy rose? Can't either. either. Who's in the strawberry patch with Sally? That's Are enough. Right? That's enough. Right. And how did you two get together? We, uh, well, a, ta well, a talent scout, actually. Walter Gollander. That's with two L's. Yes. And New Jersey put us together one day. You knew both of you? Yeah. We sort of got together that way. And uh, you worked with Tony Orlando and Dawn, right? Yes, we uh, we had most of our success with Tony Orlando from Candida through Yellow Ribbon. And that's up to right now. And now you are the composers of a brand new musical that's opening at the Paper Mill Playhouse, which is the State Theater at Melbourne. And this new musical is Jolson. It opens on November the 8th, the day after Election Day. November And 8th. it runs through December the 17th. 17th yes. It's called Jolson. It's, it, it, it sounds like a revival, and yet it's not a revival. It stars Clive Baldwin, who is not an imitator of Al Jolson, but has the exact voice of Al Jolson, singing voice and speaking voice. We, we just heard it. it that's, that's right, fantastic. right, that's right. But that's, uh, it's not a put-on. All the tunes are original tunes that Owen and I have written, and uh, it's a real universal type of a show, the kind of songs that you would whistle to and hum along with. And just a good time, wholesome entertainment kind of show. The kind of, I mean, yeah, they were good when George M. Cohen wrote them the first time. They certainly were. They certainly were. Uh, I wanted to ask you that. Is, uh, there is a uh, revival uh, flair sort of on uh, on Broadway. I guess it began with Bubbling Brown Sugar and Ain't Misbehaving and, and Yubi. And Jolson sounds much like a revival, and yet it's not. Uh, why did you decide to do a new Jolson at this time? Well, I have always been a Jolson freak. The reason that I am in the music business today is I saw that motion picture in 1948, and that just shaped my entire life. Yes. And so it's always been my ambition and, and my dream, a dream which Larry shared with me, uh, to do this particular show. You know, our feeling about about the, the theater versus records, but we've seen quite a few shows on Broadway, not all of them, but quite a few, and we've always felt put out a little bit by the fact that even the great shows had one or two songs in them. And where are the shows that have those five or six or seven great, great songs in them? And we'd like to think that we have made a show that does that. We have Jol the answer. Jolson's going to have five or six or seven. That's at least, right. At least. At least. How many songs are there all together in Jolson? New songs? I think there's 17 songs in the show. And how long does it take two brilliant, talented people to write 17 songs? Well, we really don't know that people. <laughs> <laughs> It took us around a month to write the score for this show. Is that all? A month and a half. We and how do you work? That, I mean, that, that was for three weeks of vacation. <laughs> you, do you tell him what you want and does he write it down or how do you work together? Who, do you do music and lyrics, both of you? Right. But well, we sit down and we talk about the idea first. And then after we discuss how we're going to work the idea, then we start throwing it back and forth. I'll start playing the guitar and I'll come up with a lyric line. and. He'll say, I like that melody, I don't like that melody, and I'll tell him I like that lyric, I don't, whatever. And before you know it, if we end up screaming and happy, we, you know, then we know so, we got something. So you both do music and you both do lyrics, is that right? Exactly. And, and it works out? Most of the time. I mean, do you ever cry? I mean, when he says, Larry, you know, that, Larry, that's awful. I mean, do you cry or, or do you just go back and do a new line? Or? No, no. Well, he only gets upset when I complain about his singing. <laughs> <laughs> Which, as of late, I think his complaints are valid. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we tell him the truth, Larry? Go ahead. Yeah, we, we really don't write all these songs. We have a little guy that we have to have to we call him. Tell that's no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> tell me a little bit about, about Jolson. Why should someone go see, hear Jolson? Well, 
You know, I was trying not to be egotistical. I would describe the show as a combination of Fiddler on the Roof and Guys and Dolls, starring the world's greatest entertainer, Al Jolson, and uh, written by Levine and Brown and Eberhardt and Levy. And it's very, very unusual, is it not, for a new show to open at the Paper Mill Playhouse. Usually the Paper Mill does revivals of shows that have uh, been on Broadway for years, or brings back shows that have been on Broadway. This time, is it going to be the reverse? Are you going to open at Paper Mill and then go to Broadway? I, I, I believe that the Angelo Del Rossi and Bill Gusky have finally seen something in our work that they felt they could have put on shows before, but they really, you know, are very particular people. I've watched them work, on, and I feel that, you know, very honored by the fact that they've given us the opportunity to be their first original show. Thank you, Larry Brown, and you live in North Col Colwell as of a uh, couple of days from now, right? You right. live again, and uh, Erwin Levine, you live where? Livingston. Livingston, good. It's awfully good having you uh, here, and we'll have you back uh, when it's you've got a big It's game. a pleasure. I want to say now that that's it for now. Remember to vote tomorrow in a nation whose government moves according to the will of the people. It's important for the people to express that will at the polls. And remember, too, that Jolson, a new musical with music and lyrics by Erwin Levine and Larry Brown, two real comedians, opens at the Paper Mill Playhouse on the day after Election Day. That's November the 8th. It runs through December the 17th. There are also two mighty fine composers. Now, for Focus, New Jersey, I'm John Hamlin. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.